Good morning everyone and welcome back to Together We Strive uh, TFC Multiplayer where it's finally time for the grand reveal. Are you ready? <laughs> yes indeed. It's not the prettiest looking thing but I like it. Um, it's cozy, you know? It's got warm colors, warmer forest fires. I'm not gonna die of smoke inhalation so it's fine. Uh, I do indeed quite like this place and let's take a look inside. Uh, we've got this neat little gateway area, which I might turn into a berry garden. Who knows? If I can find any berry bushes, that is. Inside, we've got some tool racks uh, for our spare tools we're not really using at the moment. I'm going to put the scythe on there now, indeed. Uh, furthermore, we've got our chests along the back wall, some under the stairs, uh, and a barrel, which I would keep food in, but very clearly I uh, do not have food. Um, and that's an issue I'm going to address this episode. Uh, furthermore, you go upstairs and you can find all sorts of bibliocraft goodness. Uh, a couple of bookshelves, though I have no books. Uh, we've got some shelves to display our interesting curios. Right now I've got a piece of bituminous coal and two gemstones displayed on our shelves. I'm uh, now slowed, although that may be the first. Uh, indeed, I'm walking fine now again. Got a table to eat our meals at, although I don't have a chair. Uh, and more bookshelves and no books. So, I like this place. It's a quite comfortable little lodge, uh, and we can base our operations here. Uh, do I have my plans on me? I do, so I can freely use slash spawn to investigate the next thing. Uh, I got an information bit from uh, this guy Dithanos, uh, apparently the creator of such a thing, uh, about what we saw in episode one of the series, uh, because episode one just went live today. Uh, Yes, indeed, what we saw in episode 1 was a trading post, so I was not trespassing. In fact, I ignored a trading post. Uh, so let's try to make our way there. I think I see it on the minimap there. Ah, yes, there it is. And we'll see exactly what we've got for trade on this post. Because uh, I'd like to know whether or not there really is food here. By the wagon. Okay, it's by the wagon, he says. Uh, oh! Wait, but it's not in a... Hmm. I wonder, there's no prices on it. Well, I suppose... Um, how about this? I will, uh, I'll go in here. I'll sell him some of these plans. Wait, where are my coins? Oh, here they are. Um, I'll, uh, I'll make a sandwich. Maybe a couple. Maybe three. <laughs> I'll make three sandwiches. And I'll leave behind these three coins, one for each sandwich. Uh, in a chest. Uh, okay, now we'll go town spawn of Fritten. And we can return home. Uh, and we'll eat these gratifying meals of sandwiches. And there we are. Now I'm feeling very renewed. Uh, and I suppose I'll just... <laughs> don't need to leave any coin. Well, it's a gesture that counts. Uh, and I suppose we're out of water here, so we'll need to take this down to the... Um, due to a bug. Well, interesting. Well, anyway, I'm going to refill my water barrel, and then we'll be ready to move on with the episode. Ah, uh, would you look at that? It's beautiful. Coming up here, see the see the roof of the house and the, all sorts of housey goodness, and just makes you feel at home, you know? Why can I not climb up this ledge? Alright, well, I've uh, done some more building because we need a uh, permanent place to set our charcoal supplies, and I don't want to have to trek past that lava every time. So I've made a little path that we can walk along, uh, and to here, our charcoal overhang in this pit. We'll put all the logs, uh, like so. And whenever it's full, we'll simply cover it up, and uh, I've already done this. Anyway, whenever it's full, we'll cover it up, and uh, the overhang will protect it from rain, so charcoal can even be stored in here uh, while it's, or after it's done. Um, so I don't need to worry about getting it out, I don't need to worry about dirt falling on it, or any sorts of those things. I can just leave it in the pit and come dig it out uh, as I need it. Alright, I've got the forge heated up. Uh, for the reason that I'm going to attempt, anyway, to make a bronze anvil. We'll see if I end up having enough coal. Uh, so, we'll grab 
the usual 14 bronze ingots out of here. Nope, that's 15. It's too many. Set four in here. And we'll see when I've got, when or if I've got seven bronze double ingots. Well, we just finished the last uh, tool head, so we're armed with a bronze anvil, a legion of axes, and a scythe. Uh, and this properly gears us to uh, solve a problem that's been eating at me ever since I moved here, uh, which is the forest fires that are slowly claiming the entire land. So, with this many axes and a scythe, I am certain I can address this issue. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is cut every tree that's currently on fire um, so as to completely stop the forest fires in their tracks. Alright, so despite the fact that I can uh, I can hear fire, I can't see any, and I think that's just a little bug and the fake fires will burn themselves out. But yeah, we've, uh, we've saved this uh, forest line. Let's take a look at the map here. All the way from up here to down here, this is all free of fire. Uh, no more burning burning. So now all we need to secure now is this. What this mighty pile of lumber tells us is that yes, We've saved the forest. The only few things that burn are little stragglers that aren't connected to anything that I just didn't bother chopping down because those flames will burn themselves out and there's no risk of it spreading to anything. So, yeah, ones like that as well. It's just up in the sky. There's nothing connected to it. Um, so, now the entire little forest line here is completely protected. Thanks to me. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, now... Uh, I'm a little conflicted about this. If you look at my waypoints, you can see I've kind of listed down a lot of the things that I've uh, that I've found. A lot of the ores. Orange indicates that the ore is exposed, but light blue indicates that I've only found traces of it on the surface, and I don't actually know where the ore is. Now, uh, I need to find iron as my next ore, and I have seen it. I have seen iron. But I didn't mark it down, so I need to find uh, a new node of iron, or I can search for the old node that I found, but I don't know where it is. So, that'll be my next goal. It's going to be more wandering, more looking and wandering around. Alright, this uh, collapsed dirt... Uh, I don't have a... well, I guess there's a stone shovel inside. The collapsed dirt means that the charcoal is done. Uh, and so we can unravel, or rather, uncover this uh, charcoal pit, so that whenever we need charcoal, we can just run over and start unraveling. Uh, and this should be just an absolute ton of charcoal. A full block of charcoal is eight charcoal. Uh, so we've got a five by five by two, and the bottom layer is guaranteed eight, or a full block each. So five by five, five times five times eight is the first layer. And then the second layer on top is uh, much more variable, but a lot. <laughs> the answer is a lot of charcoal uh, is what we have. So that's rather nice. Wow, we just got two bronze item drops from uh, those mobs. Oh, and a chest plate to replace ours. Cool. All right, I just finished a, uh, well, right here is just finished a pit kiln that, or I guess four pit kilns. Uh, that contained bowls, and the reason I made so many bowls is because while I don't have bread to make sandwiches, I can always make salads. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is get my knife on my hot bar, walk into the house, and on this table, shift right- oh, I've already done it. Okay, yeah, well there's a meal preparation area, I'll break this and do it again to show. Shift right clicking with a knife on top of a block, we'll make a meal preparation area. If you toss bowls in here and switch to salad, you can make a salad. So I'm going to use mushrooms, mushrooms, seaweed, and a carrot. And so this will create a salad with a 20 of the food in it. And that's very good. You can kind of gradually eat out of it. And so yeah, this will be where I uh, have my thingy dingies here. And so yeah, this is what I'll do there. I'll replace that with that, and it looks like it's about time for me to drink from my water. There we go. Oh, and it's empty again. Well, whatever. Salads are good. This one doesn't look good, but I assure you it probably tastes fine. Well, this is weird. I just came across this. Uh, someone died with nothing but a leather cap. 
so I guess I'll take it. It's weird, though. Alright, here we are, back at the Tetrahedrite camp. Uh, and the reason for this being, I realized I wouldn't even have the bronze to process the iron if I found it. So, I've come back here to uh, mine some more... Mine some more copper, so we can make more bronze, so that we can uh, do things with the iron once we find it. And I believe the entrance into the copper mines is here. However, I will not be mining copper today. Uh, I am going to go get something to eat, maybe even go to sleep, maybe play some League of Legends, I don't know. But the day has come to a close for me. Uh, so, in the beginning of the next episode, I will have mined a bunch of this out. Uh, but, as for now, uh, I will I will not be doing that. I will have returned to have done that, though. So thank you for watching, uh, and good night.